Next is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam. First Canto, 8th Chapter, Text Number 32 Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Recorded on April 24th, 1973, in Los Angeles. So, there are two Malayas, one Malaya hill and one this Malaya, Malaysia, now it is known. Formerly, in this part of the world, Malaysia, they were growing sandalwood in great, large scale. Because uh, 5,000 years ago there was good demand for sandal. Uh, every person uh, should use the sandal pulp uh, because in India it is tropical country so this is a good uh, cosmetic. Uh, still, those who can afford during very warm days of summer season, uh, if you apply pulp of sandalwood on your body, you feel no one. It is cool. Yes. So it was the system Still that is going on, but a very small scale, that everyone after taking bath, uh, he should uh, smear over the body with sandalwood pulp. Uh, it will keep the body whole day nice, cool and calm. Uh, so that was the uh, cosmetic. Uh, now in the Kaliyo, uh, that is called prasadhan. Just like every country, the system is after taking bath, you dress your hair, uh, add something, scent it. Uh, so in India it was the system that after taking bath, having tilak, uh, going to the deity room, offering obeisances, then the prasadam, chandan prasadam was taken from the deity room and it was used. This is called prasadhanam. In Kali Yuga, it is said that snana eva hi prasadam. If one can take bath nicely, that is prasadam. So much. No more this cosmetic or sandalwood oil or rose scent or rose water, these are finished. That snānāvaiva prasādhanāṁ, simply by taking bath, uh, in, while I was in India in the beginning, so taking bath is very ordinary thing because even the poorest man will take early morning bath. But actually when I came to our country, I saw that taking bath is also difficult. Uh, taking bath, that is also not in practice. Perhaps once in a week. We are accustomed to see in India thrice in a day. Uh, and I have seen in New York the friends are coming to another friend's house because one has no facility for taking shower bath. They are coming to a friend's house. Is it not? I have seen it. So the symptoms of Kali describe that it will be very difficult also to take even bath. Snana eva hi prasadhanam. Dyakham kutumba bharanam. Dyakham. Dyakham means one who is famous for his 
pious activities. He is called Dakyam. Dakyam, this word comes from Dukha. Dukha means expire. So Dakyam Kutumma Varanam. In Kali Yuga, if a person can maintain a family, family means wife and a few children, or one or two children, that is called family. But family does not mean in India like that. Family means a joint family. Uh, joint family, the father, the sons, the nephews, uh, the um, sister, her sons, they join together. That is called family. Uh, but in the Kaliju, uh, it will be difficult even to maintain family. If one can maintain his family, uh, uh, in New York when I was there, one old lady was coming. So he has, she had a grown-up son. So I asked her, why didn't you get your son married? Uh, yes, he can marry if he, if he can maintain the family. I did not know that, that the maintaining a family is a difficult job here. I did not know that. Uh, so these are described in the Bhagavata. If one can maintain a family, oh, he is very glorious man. Uh, oh, he is maintaining fine. Uh, uh, if a girl has got a husband, she is cons considered to be very fortunate. So actually these things are there. So it is not our business to criticize, but the symptoms of Kolijo is very, very severe, uh, and it will go more and more. We have simply passed five thousand years only of the Kali Yuga, but the duration of Kali Yuga is four hundred thousand, four hundred and thirty-two thousands of years. Out of only we have passed five thousand years. And after passing five thousand years, we find so many difficulties. And the more we grow in this Kali Yuga, the days will be more and more difficult. The best thing is that you finish your Krishna consciousness business and go back to home, back to God. That will save you. Otherwise, if we come back again, the difficulties, the difficult days are ahead. We have to suffer more and more. So Krishna is described here as Ajo. Ajopi sannabhyatma bhutanam isropi san. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Ajopi. I am unborn. Yes, Krishna is unborn. We are also unborn. But the difference is that we have been entangled with this material body. Uh, therefore, we cannot keep our position as unborn. We have to take birth, transmigrate from one body to another. And there is no guarantee what kind of body you are going to get next, but you have to accept. Just like we are accepting in this life one body after another, the child is giving up his childhood body, accepting the boyhood body, the boy is giving up his boyhood body, accepting youthhood body. Similarly, this body of old age, when giving up, natural conclusion is that I will have to accept another body. Again, childhood body. Uh, just like there are seasonal changes. After summer, uh, there is spring, or after spring there is summer, after summer there is fall, there is, after fall there is winter, uh, or after day there is night, after night there is day, as these, these are cycles one after another. Similarly, we are changing body one after another. And natural conclusion is that after changing this body I will get another one. Uttā bhuttā paliyate. This is very logical and supported by this hastra and spoken by the greatest authority, by Krishna. And why should we not 
accept it. If you don't accept it, that is foolishness. Uh, if you don't think that there is no life after death, that is foolishness. There is life after death. Uh, so, uh, because we are accepting one body after another since time immemorial, we cannot think of that there is life eternal. It is difficult for us. Just like a diseased man is lying down on the bed and eating there, passing stool there, passing urine there, and he cannot move, and very bitter medicine, so many inconvenience is lying down. So he is thinking of committing suicide. So this life is very intolerable. Let me commit suicide. So uh, in desperate condition, sometimes the philosophy of voidism, impersonalism is forward to make the things zero. Because this life is so much troublesome, sometimes even one commits suicide to get out of this, uh, I mean, say, troublesome life, a material existence. So the philosophy of voidism, impersonalism is like that. Uh, but they cannot shudder to think of another life, again eating, again sleeping, again walking, because he thinks eating, sleeping means on the bed, that's all, and suffering. He cannot think otherwise. So the negative way, to make it zero, that is void blood. But actually that is not the case. The case is that you are in trouble on material condition. You get out of this material condition, then there is real life, eternal life. Because we are part and parcel of Krishna, Krishna is aja. Aja means who has no birth and death. So we are also aja. How you can be otherwise? If Krishna, I am, if I am Krishna's part and parcel, the same example you can see, if my, if my father is happy, so I am the son of my father, why I shall, I shall be unhappy? This is natural condition. Because I will enjoy uh, my father's property as my father is enjoying. Similarly, God is all powerful, Krishna is all powerful, all beautiful, all knowledge, everything complete. So I may not be complete, but because I am part and parcel, so I have, I have got all the qualities of God in part and parcel. It is not that. So God does not die, He is also. So I also will not die. This is my position. And that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Najayate nam riyati vakata chit. Even he is describing about the soul. Krishna says that the soul is never born. Najayate nam riyate. And if one is not born, how he can die? There is no question of death. Uh, death is for a thing which has got a birth. If one has no birth, there is no question of death. Na jāyati, nāmriyati, vā. So we are part and parcel of Krishna. As Krishna is ajā, we are also ajā. That we do not know. This is ignorance. This is ignorance. Hmm. They are making scientific researches, but they do not know that every living entity is spirit, soul, uh, he has no birth, he has no death, he is eternal, nitya, sāsatayam, uh, uh, everlasting, uh, purāna, all the oldest, na hannate, the conclusion, na hannate, hannamāne sarīre, so after the annihilation of this body, the soul does not die. He accepts another body. This is our disease. This is called bhavarog. Uh, bhavarog means material disease. Uh, 
So Krishna being the supreme living entity. Nitya, Nityana, Chetana, Chetanana. Krishna is exactly like us, or we are imitation of Krishna. The difference is Krishna is Bhivu, unlimited, and we are Anu, we are limited. That is Bhivu. Otherwise, qualitatively, we are as good as Krishna. Therefore, uh, whatever propensities Krishna has, we have got all these propensities. Krishna has the propensity to love the other sex. Therefore, we have got this propensity to love the other sex. Uh, the beginning of love is there in Radha and Krishna, eternal love between Radha and Krishna. Uh, so we are also seeking eternal love. But because we are conditioned by the material laws, it is interrupted. It is interrupted. Uh, so if we become out of this interruption, then we get similar love affairs as Krishna and Radharani. Uh, so our business should be how to uh, go back to home, back to Krishna. Because going to Krishna means Krishna is eternal, we get eternal. Just like to become a secretary or even a servant of President Nixon, he is also a big man. He is also a big man. Because unless one has got some special quality, he cannot become personal servant of President Nixon or his secretary. It is not possible. Not ordinary man can become President Nixon's servant or secretary. Similarly, to be, go back to home, back to Godhead means you get the same type of body as Krishna has got. You become Ajo. Ajo Nitya Sāsatayang. This is a disease that we are changing our body. So Krishna is Ajo. So Kunti says, Kachit kechit ahu ajam jatam. Uh, ajam, the eternal, the unborn, is now has taken his birth. Hmm. Then, uh, of course, we can say that Krishna is taking birth. Yes, Krishna takes birth. Uh, but his birth is not like our. Uh, that we should know. It is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Janma karma me divam. Jo jana di tattva. Krishna is taking birth as the son of Devaki or Mother Jasoda. But he is not taking birth exactly like us. Uh, that is described in the Srimad Bhagavatam. When Krishna appeared, he did not come out. He did not come out from the womb of Devaki. He first of all appeared. You have seen the picture. Uh, and then he became a small child on the lap. Therefore, Krishna's birth is transcendental. Our birth is by force, by the laws of nature. Uh, he is not under the laws of nature. Uh, laws of nature works under him. Maya dhaksena prakriti suvate sacharacharam Prakriti, nature is working under the order of Krishna. And we are working under the order of nature. That is the difference. See, Krishna is the master of nature. And we are servant of nature. That is the difference. Thank you very much.